What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, as an animation to make the NHL Calgary Flames logo. Now here it is, Um, I it's the Flames logo, I don't have much to say, and I'm not going to waste your time. So with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space name for this logo is 40 across and 35 going up. And the materials are meaning you need a lot of materials, you need yellow concrete and red concrete. Quite simple. So, you're going to start from the bottom left-hand corner of your space, assuming you have an actual designated space. If not, build this wherever the frick you want. But you want to count right by... Hold on, let me make sure I have enough space here. You want to count right by nine. And this will be our starting position. Hold on, let me switch. That's my transition. You want to go right with two yellow concrete. Let's start with the easy side, why not? Up diagonally to the right by three... Right one, up diagonally to the right one, right two, down diagonally to the right one, here we go, right four, why do these always start this way, down diagonally to the right one, right six, up diagonally to the right one, right two, up diagonally to the right one, Right one, up diagonally to the right by, whoopsies, by three. Up one, up diagonally to the right one, up two, up diagonally to the right one, up three. Then go left by seven. Then go down diagonally to the left one, down one, down diagonally to the left by two, left one, down diagonally to the left one, left two, up diagonally to the left one, left one, up diagonally to the left one, up one, up diagonally to the left one. Up eight. Up diagonally to the right one. Up one. Up diagonally to the right by two. Right one. Up diagonally to the right one. Right two. Down diagonally to the right one. Right one. Down diagonally to the right one. Down one. Down diagonally to the right one. Down one, right seven, up three, up diagonally to the left one, up two, up diagonally to the left one, up one, up diagonally to the left by three, nobody asked, left one, up diagonally to the left one. Left six. Down diagonally to the left one. Left two. Down diagonally to the left one. Left three. Up diagonally to the left by two. Left one. Down one. Down diagonally to the right one. Down one. Down diagonally to the right one. And then that's what you should have right now in case you want to see got the C part. Um, you want to take the bottom of that little two and you want to bring it uh, left two. Then go up diagonally to the left by two. Left two. We're almost there. I don't promise. Down diagonally to the left one. Left two. Down diagonally to the left one. Down two. Then bring each of those two, those bottom two, each right by two. Then bring the bottom block right two. And then extend each of those down one and extend off the right by an additional one. Then extend down two. Bring this yellow left and right by one each. 
bring that whole row of three down by one per block. Take the right two, bring them each down one, extend right one. I know this is getting really confusing. That's what you have right now. And then take the lower row of three, not the, uh, kind of in the rectangle, this section, take this, I guess, middle row of three, because this is the lower, this is the upper. And you want to basically take this kind of bottom left corner here, and you want to bring it left four. Down one, left three, up one, left one, up diagonally to the left one, up one, go left and right by one, and then take the right one and go up diagonally to the right by one and right by two. Good, that lines up. I almost got scared because I thought it wasn't gonna. Take the row of four, which is this lowest row here. It's You can uh, not miss it. And take the left block, and you want to bring it down diagonally to the left by one. There's a lot of this looping happening, by the way. Just beware. Left one. Down diagonally to the left one. Bring that corner left one, and bring that same block down one. And then you're going to keep tracking from the bottom one. Bring it back. Frick. Down diagonally to the right by one. Right one. Up diagonally to the right one. Right five. Scratch that. Take a block off that, so it should be right by four. So it's five total, sorry. I don't know how I managed to screw that up. Take the right two and bring them each down by one per. Then extend out by two on the right from that row of four. From that row of two, I should say. Now it's row of four. And then take this row of four, and you want to bring it down a row. And when you bring it down a row, you want to extend it off the left and the right by one, like that. So you have a row of frick. You have a row of six. Take the right three blocks of that row of six and bring them each down by an additional one and then extend right one. Now t come back to that row of six and take the left block and bring it down diagonally to the left by one. Oh, we're so close. Sorry, down diagonally left by two, actually. Just bring it down diagonally left an additional one. Then go down one. Down diagonally to the left one. Down one. Right three. Up diagonally to the right one, right one, down diagonally to the right by two, right one, down one, right two, and then take the left block of that row of three we just made and bring it down diagonally to the left by one, left three, and then up diagonally to the left by two. This little section we just made is going to be blank. So if you want to mark it with, say, a glass block or something, you can. This is the only enclosed section that has no red concrete in it. So just, I don't know, place a placeholder or something, or just remember where it is. It's about halfway. Yeah, that seems right. Anyway, take that one we just left off on, and you want to bring it down diagonally to the left one. Down three. Remember this block here, if you want to place a red left of it, you can. And then go down diagonally to the right by two from it. I actually don't even have to remember, remember, remember that. It, never mind. Then go right seven. Take not the end one, but the one left of that and bring it down one. Then down diagonally to the left by two. And then you can actually bring that block down one. And then down diagonally to the left by two, and that will close off your shape. Now we're still missing a section, so take that row of two, and you want to take the top, uh, the top block of it, and you want to bring it left two, down diagonally to the left one, left one, up diagonally to the left by two, up one, up diagonally to the left one, up two, left one. Up one, like so. That's your Calgary Flames logo outline done. Now, they've gone through a few color changes. I know this is a little bit late. You could make it a white outline with a yellow middle. Is that, I think, the other one that they use? I think it's that. Or no, it's red outline and white middle, I think. They've done red with white. They've done black with red. They've, I think, done black with yellow. I think they've done yellow with... They've, I think they've done red with yellow as well. I don't know, they've done, a lot. they've done a lot of color combinations. Basically, if it has yellow, red, or white, it works. Um, 
And also black. I think black is an older one, though. This is kind of more newish. Anyway, fill in the entire inside of the logo in with red concrete. Obviously, leave the um, C part of the C open, and then leave the thing that I told you to mark also open, because, you know... Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. It's uh, Tuesday, I think. I don't even know anymore, man. Days of the week just kind of all mesh into one, and then it's weird. But it's a day, all right. Okay, that's cool. I just slammed my head into something. I'm actually going to go really ballsy here, and I'm going to unmark that section because I think I'm smart enough where I don't need that marked. Considering I, I don't know, I've made the logo once, and I also... I'm an NHL nerd like that. I take full, full pride in my nerdiness. I think out of all the logos I've made, though, this is the best. And I don't even think it's really that much of a contention. I actually think Columbus might be the only one that contends. And there was one other I made. Montreal, that's what it was. But Montreal has some issues. Boston's good, too. I don't know. I really don't dislike any of them. I haven't... I mean, Carolina, I think, is actually the one that I dislike the most. To be truthful. The old Anaheim logo also isn't bad. And the Arizona one, I don't want... I refuse to talk about... I'd remake it, but the Kachini logo, I want to say they're getting rid of after this year, which this year is literally over now. So, um, yeah. Also, this or Chicago will be the last one you'll see until the new season. Um, I'm not going to do them during the offseason, probably. At least, I probably won't. Um, this one might be during the offseason, though, because I recorded this one before the season ended, and unfortunately, the Flames weren't even in the playoffs, so they're nerds. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know. Let me let me know you, what you guys think of this one in the comments down below. This is for anyone who's actually still watching. Um, you know, I'd like some feedback. I always like feedback. Sometimes I don't respond, but I do read every comment. So I appreciate some good feedback. These are hard to make, too. Like... You know, I kind of did half the Chicago logo, which is the next one, and then gave up. Which you, I may or may not, like, you see, there it is over there. You may or may not, I'm seeing that. Well, that one's absolutely massive. Like, you can see it next to the Bruins logo. The Bruins logo, I think, is the one of the smaller ones, though. So, I mean, you know. But, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Calgary Flames NHL logo complete. Thank you guys so much for forget to enjoy this video. I absolutely mumbled that. Have a fantastic have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Pa oops, okay. <laughs> Pay.